Creating plots in Hawkeye has never been easier. Basically everything you need to do, you can do it within the plot module. Launch the quick plot by clicking this button over here. And from here we can see we have a rough assembly of what we need to do. What makes the quick plot user friendly is that everything is what you see is what you get. So let's start from the very top. We have our logo and our header. If we want to change our logo, we right click on the logo itself and then we go to browse to find the logo we want. Note that the logo should be either in bitmap or GIF format. After we've chosen our logo, we can change our job data directly by right clicking anywhere in this header. And on the top right, we can select our orientation mode and the type of charts we want to have. At the very top, we have three portrait modes, vertical section only, horizontal section only, and vertical and horizontal section in portrait. And then the second row, we have vertical section only in landscape mode, horizontal chart only in landscape mode, and vertical and horizontal in landscape. Let's use this last one. In the chart itself, we can navigate by holding down the right mouse button to pan. So let's center on where we need to go, and we use the mouse button to zoom in and out. The first thing I want to do is remove these curves at the very top. I do that simply by going to the curves list and unchecking the curves that I don't want to see. And then hitting OK, they disappear. Zeroing in on the curve that I want to see, I may have labels that are kicked way far out as we see here. In future versions of this program we won't have this problem but for now to reorganize all labels all we would have to do is right click on a label, uncheck dynamic positioning, click reset all and then hit OK. The next step would be to zoom in with the mouse wheel until it fills the screen or however we want to do it we can zoom in wherever we want I noticed that there's another plan here coming down. Let's say I don't want that. I would go back to my curves menu and then uncheck plan two here. From here, if I wanted to organize the labels, all I do is left click to drag them and I'll organize them as such. If there's a particular label that I don't want to be displayed, I just right click on it and then uncheck visible. So let's say that I have my vertical section set up next thing I want to do is get my top view set up properly. I would resize it with this little drag control on the bottom left. I would drag this to center and notice that the grid is uh, very dark and makes the curve hard to see. All I would have to do to fix that is to turn off the major grid. Notice that I can do this with both charts turning on and off grids but let's say this is how I want to, how I want to see it. We can also set our vertical section plane for the vertical section view, but it is correct as is. The next step is adding more data layers. So I can turn on show casing, which will actually show a graphical representation of the casing with small labels here. Or if I don't want them on the curve, I can show a casing list. And the casing list just acts like every other item in the quick plot, such that I can resize them and drag them around and if I right click on them, I can open up the respective editor. So this is the casing editor for this curve. If I want to show targets, they can appear on the curve or I can show a target list instead, which again is right clickable so that I can access the editor of that respective data layer. The next thing I can do is add a critical points list for this plan. This is nothing more than a list of comments for each of the surveys that have comments. If I wanted to show lease lines or hard lines, I would put them here. As you can see in this example, my lease lines and hard lines are very close in and do not pertain to the plan that I have. So I will leave those turned off. I can also add a geodetics information window and a show lithology, which will show on the left-hand side of the vertical section curve itself. I can also show projections if there are any active projections. I can turn on this whiteout, which will actually blank out all of the grid above a certain distance in the vertical section chart. Show ellipses will display 2D ellipses of uncertainty in the top view. And the north arrow will display convergence. This can be resized and put 
in a corner somewhere. Last but not least, I can also add a show 3D window, which is resizable and actually shows the 3D view that I normally get. Once I've resized it to where I want it, I can move it by dragging the top left corner. Then I can navigate by using the same mouse commands that I would use in the main screen, zooming in and out like so. Perhaps if I want to emphasize a particular point in the plan or in the as drill curve. I can also add custom text by clicking the add text button and then right clicking and then hitting the X button. I can drag this around like I would with any other data form in this module. When I'm all done, I have two choices for printing. I can either print to PDF or I can print to paper. If I print to PDF, all I have to do is click save.pdf and it will prompt me to save this file. If I wish to print a paper or use a specific PDF printer, I would first need to set it up under this printer button. I would select my printer and then I would select the paper size, hit OK. When I hit the print button, it will take that printer information that I gave it. In this case, I chose a PDF printer, so it went straight to PDF. If you'll notice in my print preview, what I designed in the quick plot is exactly what's going to show up in the printed form. If I want to save this template, all I need to do is click Save Template and give it a name and hit Save. Thus, I will always be able to have my settings saved if I click Get Template. And I Finally, I can also customize the colors of virtually everything in the quick plot. If I click Graph Properties, it will open up this properties form in which I can change the font sizes, the colors, as well as the colors of the backgrounds and the grid itself. These check boxes here indicate that if I change a color on the screen, so for example, if I change the background color here to a dark blue and the horizontal graph area to a green, these check boxes will indicate that although a color other than white is chosen for this item, they will still print white. That way you can have a colorful screen presentation. However, when you go to print, it will still be white, saving money on colored ink. If anything gets too out of hand in the quick plot, you can always hit the reset all button and it will reset you back to square one.